Welcome to a hogtied new episode of the Demonic Compendium, the show where I discuss the mythology, design, and game history of your favorite Megami Tensei demons. Sometimes it's important to remember that things aren't always what they seem. Like that piece of fruit might be a pig, and that pig might be a snake, and that snake might be the star of this episode because today we're talking about Jotun Sha. Jotun Sha, which I'm Sorry if I'm saying incorrectly, I lived in Beijing for a year, you'd think I would have a better grasp on that, basically translates as pig snake or hog snake. There really isn't a whole lot of mythology to this demon, as it's much more of a folkloric figure or cryptid. The Jotun Sha is a creature that supposedly existed in the Song Dynasty of ancient China, which ran from the year 960 to 1279. The most famous story goes that one night, while soldiers were out training, they discovered a snake in a bamboo basket in a watermelon field. This snake was covered in hair, was about three to four feet long, had legs, and could create loud shrieking sounds like a wild pig. The snake got loose and began eating villagers, leaving the soldiers unsure of what to do. Fortunately, a general named Cheng Jun was quite adept in magical spells to subdue snakes. One night, the Jutun Sha was trapped in a manger, so the general performed a spell that first forced the snake to roll up into a motionless ball. With three blows of air from his lips, the Jutun Sha was transformed into a puddle of congealed blood. That's the only real story I was able to find on the Jutun Sha, but supposedly there is a written account of it in the Yi Jian Shi, which is a massive collection of short stories, poems, and folklore put together by a scholar named Hong Mai. I wasn't able to confirm this, but I do assume the story in this anthology is the same as the one I just summarized, since like I said, that's the only story I was able to find. And honestly, for this one, I had to translate a lot of Chinese web pages in my research, because if you google Jutun Sha in English, you just get mostly Megaten stuff. Jutun Sha's compendium entry from Soul Hackers 2 refers to it as a monstrous snake-like beast said to be sighted sometime in the Song Dynasty. According to myth, it is about three feet long, has four legs, is covered in fur, and also squeals like a pig. Because no existing animal even remotely fits its description, many believe it to be a completely unknown creature. I'm pretty sure some drunken soldiers just had a bad run-in with a wild boar. Design-wise, Kaneko actually did something really clever with the Jotun Sha. You can see that it very clearly resembles a pig of some kind, but you can see it as a snake if you squint your eyes, tilt your head, and don't know what a snake is. In all seriousness, it does mostly seem to be a hog, but there are a few nice touches that separate it from the animals, such as the peculiar ears, the horn, and the very clearly scaly stomach. Probably the best touch, in my opinion, is the use of color and design work in its fur to make it resemble a watermelon, which offers some connection to its folklore. The only other design that Jotun Sha has ever really had in the franchise is in the Demi Kid series, where it's still clearly a watermelon boar, but now there's a slightly smaller one standing on top of it, which I just think is cute. As far as game history goes, there's really not a whole lot to say. Atlas introduced the demon in the original Soul Hackers as a fairly low-level demon. Jotun Sha returned to the franchise in Demi Kid's light and dark version as well as their sequels. In those first games though, Jutun Sha is known as Chot in the West, which was a localization change to the demon's Japanese name Chotanda, which they still use as of the most recent titles. Chot is one of five special demons that you can find hidden throughout the world map who will only join you if you say the correct password. In Chot's case, that password is Atlas, and this information is available to those who had a copy of Nintendo Power Volume 175 or, you know, access to the internet. These screenshots used in the magazine even show Chot, giving players an actual hint as to his location in that game. After that, Jutun Sha showed up pretty sparingly, making its return in Strange Journey and the SMT4 duology, still as a low-level demon without really a whole lot else to go on. But that changed in early 2022, when Atlas started teasing a new Soul Hackers project. During the countdown to the game reveal, a fuzzy screenshot showed company mascot Jack Frost riding atop a Jutun Sha. That screenshot is from the opening cinematic of Soul Hackers 2, where we do get to see that moment play out in a chaotic demon battle. Jutun Sha also has a small role in the request, A New He Home Part 2. 
Frost Jiro, one of the five Frost Brothers, says that his brother Saburo is allergic to pigs, and asks Ringo to defeat five Jotuncha. Though I'm not really sure what that has to do with his pig allergy, since, as we've established, these are very, super duper obviously, snakes. While Soul Hackers 2 may have been the official debut of Jotun Sha's 3D self, a slightly different model was supposedly found for the pig snake within the game data for the mobile title Shin Megami Tensei Liberation D2. Some of the other unused 3D models found in that title were eventually added, making them not unused 3D models anymore. So the point is, it's not off the table, we might be seeing this thing down the road as well. And there's not a whole lot else to go on right now, but it's always nice to see more demons get the 3D treatment, and I'm hoping we'll be seeing more of this little snake piggy in future titles. And so there you have it, Jutun Sha, the suspiciously sausage-smelling Sao Serpent of the Song Season. Did I leave out something that you thought was important? Was I just plain wrong about something? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to let me know who you'd like to see me talk about in future episodes. That's going to do it for this episode of the Demonic Compendium, and I will see you next time. But be careful while you rest that a demon doesn't take over your body.